Wolfish here, guys. Day three of me being desperate and trying to keep my job. So um, I was given another chance. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday again. Just have to advise people with interesting problems, you know, requests and stuff. Um, so far, uh, we've only seen a couple of um, paranormal slash anomaly things. The weirdest one was the mirror guy without uh, seeing his wife's face. Last time I got fired, so I'm, I'm desperate. Let's see how long it's gonna take me this time to um, keep this job. Just checking if there's um, anything you know, not really. I've already been. Um... Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Please yeah, sure been there, done that. It's Wednesday again, but um, I'm, I'm, I am curious if it's randomized like in other analog horror games. Or is it just like uh, same events, just keep repeating? Thank you. Hopefully it's randomized, can be more fun this way. Okie doke. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever you say, dude. Yeah, um, I think like at least basic events, if you give bad advice, uh, you'll still get these calls. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement. Yep, this possible. one I've... Um... I've had this before, I think it's the slug. Okay. Uh, let's see, what was the name of that thing? Stair slug. It's uh, as big as the dog. Um, stair slugs are large dog sized slugs. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Please keep my accuracy, I need this job, bro. Feels like every time I'm trying to open something... I remember this guy. Okay. Yeah, like I, uh, like uh, I was, as I was saying, I feel like every time I open something, I get an incoming call straight away. But if I just sit around doing nothing, it's just like you know. Bathroom faucet. Okay. Um, I remember something about the toilet. Uh, not bathroom faucet though. Um, let's see. Common hops are mostly common species. No, this is for living room. This is for the desk. Um, fractured hub. I think it's the cracks in the walls. Yep. Frozen pipes. 
Uh, frozen pipes are common household hazard during the cold seasons characterized by the water inside pipes freezing and expanding causing uh, stoppages, cracks and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging and whistling sounds coming from pipes or leakage. Um, I mean... Whistling sounds. Yeah, kinda, maybe. Frozen pipes? Uh, uh, let's give it a go. Because the, the, the paranormal creature, whatever it's called, it's um, it was related to the toilet. Frozen pipes. Okay, just clicking somewhere. Please give me a call. Hopefully it's not going to be from the supervisor. Carol, I don't want to speak to you. Please don't call me. Okay. Okay, dude, calm down. Bruh. Okay. Please hold. You sure you're okay, bro? Um, there was something about people not seeing faces or um no longer recognizing stuff. Uh, where was it? Hmm. Termite sticks, nope, not that. Cockroaches come up, cellar growths. Uh, come on. Oh, bro, don't do this to me. Uh, memory wisp. Yeah, that could be it, actually. It, it didn't say anything about the sound though. Uh, memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its home homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory will often report missing pictures or albums and in, in, inability to remember faces. There we go. So it's called a memory wisp. Uh, where was it again? Oh yeah, there we go. Don't want to get in trouble with Carol. Um, let's see if I actually can make it till Friday this time. Hello? Hey, yeah, my name's oh. Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. Up I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what's you gonna do? What's you gonna do to make this right? Um, I don't know, bro. Probably hang up. Uh, thank, thank God. I th uh, yeah, I th remember this guy. Um, I think he um got him last time as well. Bogart. General term for a metamorphosed hub. They are large hairy humanoids between seven feet tall. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, and electric outages. Oh wow, okay. That's kinda creepy, I guess. Uh hi? I uh have no idea what's happening. Is this the shower guy? The sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it, dude. <laughs> okay. Um, there was some... Something about the mole grown on bed sheets. Bed teeth, I think. 
Ooh, yeah, here we go. So, from I guess uh, later on, just need to remember uh, which is which because some of the files get corrupted. Bad teeth. See ya. And some of the answers are as well. Oh, crap. All of the files got corrupted. How am I still taking calls if there is a network error? Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling? I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. I mean, termites no, can't cause um, cracks, right? I remember something about the peeling paint. Uh, I think... Please hold. Uh, what, what was it called again? Desk hub, uh, false artifact, common hub, um, fracture hub, I think. Yep. Uh, not to cause cracks and fractures in the walls. Hope it's this one. Um, yeah, I'll just go for this. Fracture hub. Yes, bro. Hello, anyone? Can I just chill? Raccoon! As long as it's not Carol, I think I'm good. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Uh-oh. Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? <laughs> Oh. Power outages. I think it's those things like humanoid things. Yeah, definitely. Power outages. Okay, bro. Chill. Chill. Message is a bit slow. Okay. Uh, let's see, pipe hop, pipe growth, mole, mirror nymph, mice, memory wisp, house, fly house, spire, fracture hub, frozen pipes, um... What about the false artifact? I remember it can, uh, pretend to be an object or something. Similarly, human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making general buzzing sounds that can usually only be heard by a very young human, children, or small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects. No, that's not it. Um, Bogart, I think. Yeah, definitely. Bogart. Okay. Bogart. <laughs> Leaving cream in the living room. Oh, holy crap, bro. We made it. 83% accuracy. I uh, guess I can afford to run this at least this week. Login and user, monitor setup complete, human DNA complete, okie doke. Um, science mysteries, mail inbox, any emails for me? Yep, network issues. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You should get out before it's too late. It's too late for you now, what? They have given you access to more, didn't they? 
I warn you if you end up like me uh, join this whole haven't figured me yet what <laughs> ah that's cute introducing our new office path so random Thursday is it just one week At least I think so, like in other um, analog horror games, just need to survive till Friday. Okay, Carol should call me any time now to give me more access. There we go. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. Thank you. I have once again updated your permission, so you should have access oh to more boy. extensive household Oh boy, giving me more, more work for you same pay. So exciting. Right, Thank you so much. Love the fact that I'm being recognized. For my hard work, that is. Uh, bro. Attic gnome, what? They even make sounds. <laughs> what? This guy looked like a Mr. Bean for a second. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems up till now. I keep hearing things about rusty pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things. That so, okay. Send someone out to get this fix for us. Um, something wrong with the, um, something wrong with the faucet. Please. Oh. Um, didn't make any noises. Nothing like that. Do you have something new related to the faucet? Um, what's this? Siddling. Siddlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an ape, ape pit. Whatever that is, they are known for burrowing into outdoor uh, plants or gardens, feeding off the roots. Nah, that's portal. Portals, uh, door shaped openings into. Well, everyone knows what a portal is. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. Enter what? Night wisp. Subspecies of wisp in. Um, in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hope. Nah, I don't think it's that one. Night gnome. Frequently report signing them in the middle of the night. Nope. Nope. Uh, laundry gnome. Has nothing to do with laundry as well. Homeless with laundry gnomes report found rattling and banging sounds coming from their washing machine. Nope. Horde. Invisible odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. Floor roots, fire flu, yeah, bra. Uh, rare dangerous disease commonly spread by household fay. Symptoms of fay flu include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pairs, and blooming. What? Fay feast. Fay feast to large size uh, are meat to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas in the home. Um, huh. I mean, doesn't say anything about being, uh, you know, causing these symptoms. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know, bro. What is this? Beetles? Frogs? Nah. Uh... Pipe hub? What does it do? 
subspecies of hub that are known for making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear, they bear no false face and are much smaller than most hubs. They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt and grime hair while cleaning in the process. Direct danger to humans, but their f uh, physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs over time. If provoked, they are also capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Um, nothing about stomach bug as well. Okay, I give up. Pipe hop. I'll pick pipe hop. Really don't know. Uh, what's the f what's uh, the fay flu again? Um, oh no 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 pipe hop. Okay, there we go. I mean, it can't be accurate all the time. Sometimes uh, I re I'm really still not sure how this works. Sometimes you just get the requests and there's literally no options for you to use. Hello? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Okay, maybe termites? My daughter is called Pest Control and she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay, well, at least she was polite. <laughs> okay. Sorry, wrong number. I think somebody is stalking me. Oh no. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. What, what are you... What do you want me to do? Okay. Uh, something about shadows. Um. She did men mention the window. I wonder if it has anything to do uh, with the portal. I don't think so, though. Um, homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. Well, that wasn't a dream. It's a... Travel gnome. Travel gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the other gnomes? Attic gnome. Uh, nope. Love the song. Night gnome. Oh yeah, night gnomes are small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known to do their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. There we go, bro. Night gnome. Job well done. If I say so myself. Um...
días. Uh oh, this one is very fast. Don't tell me it's Carol. Oh, thank God. Hello, yes, I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay, is that carbon monoxide thing? Um, homeowners affected by CO poisoning will often report headaches. No, 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 it's not. Um, I do remember... Something about um, one of the things that can, can cause this. Um, what's the horde? Oh no, that's not it. House fly, house spire, lamp sprite, laundry gnome. Pipe growth? Nope. Or is it? Nope. Definitely not it. Pipe hub, portal, raccoon. Um, what is seedling? Oh yeah, okay, it's, it's the garden thing. Stair slug, tea sprite, termites. Huh. Whistling fungi. Homeowners infested with, with, with whistling fungi often report the whistling sound coming from their walls. Huh. Bad bugs, bad teeth, bees. That definitely gonna be the bees. <laughs> Black mold, bug art, carbon monoxide, carpenter and cellar grotto, cellar growths, cellar growths. Large size species of fungi. Uh, na, 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 na. Commonly report the slimy residue, the sound of dripping and stretching or strange growths coming from their cellar. Uh, no, I didn't think it was that. Come out at night, desktop. False artifact, false beat. I'm out of ideas to be honest. False rose bush. I do I do remember there was something about the attic. Um maybe the gnome thing? Horde Night Gnome. Come on. No, definitely not the laundry gnome. <laughs> Memory wisp, mole, night gnome. I'm just I keep going in circles at this point. Uh, night wisp. Banging noises coming from the ceiling. I definitely remember there was something that was causing it. Um, we'll often report a knocking or uh, rapping sound coming from their ceilings or surplus of dust coming from their... Yep. Bro, all this time it was at the top. Took me forever. Jesus Christ. Attic Gnome was right there all along. Yeah, I'm a slowpoke sometimes. Yes. Well, I mean, so far Thursday was pretty chill. You just like get these um, chill entries. I mean, you don't have gnomes in real life in, living in your attic, but like. Uh, Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Okay.
Did she s just say bees? Okay, that's weird. Um. Please hold. Okay, I remember there was one thing that was um, being seen by children specifically. Uh, what's this? Not being able to recognize their own face. Okay, that's not it. Laundry sprite. Oh, laundry sprite. <laughs> laundry gnome. Jesus Christ. Uh, the horde. Goper, frozen pipes. Oh, how about the artifact? I remember this part. It's being noticed by children, right? Um, false artifact. Where is it? Uh, false artifact. There we go. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. There we go. Jesus Christ, this is so creepy. What the hell? Reporting a missing kid, and it's just like it's just your TV that is not a TV, but it kidnapped your kid. Okay, that is weird. Who comes up with this, bro? Please, Friday. Looking forward to you passing my probation. Wonder if we actually get to use all of the options, or is it just like um, Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. Okay. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls <laughs> naturally. that were not previously disclosed. As well as several pieces of half eaten cheese littered across the basement <laughs> floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. What do you mean? I mean, the yeah, other cracks, uh, the cracks, it's uh, one thing, but half eaten cheese. What do you mm -hmm. want me to do oh. about that? Uh, I think it's the humanoids. Little humanoids again? Um. Oh wait, half eaten cheese. Maybe it's uh, some kind of a gnome? This has something to do with laundry. No, I don't think so. Uh, cracks, I think it's those things. Um, keep forgetting the name, the hubs, fracture hub. Yeah, and the lady did say it was incorrect. So, um, General Longer whispered they also bear the face and then a subsequent home known to cause cracks and frequent in the walls of the homes they inhabit. Because that lady, what uh, I told her it was the fracture hub, but it was not. Uh, the half eating cheese, though, it's a bit um, suspicious, I don't think. Ah, let's go with this anyway, fracture hub. Yes, bro. Oh boy. Is it the goober? Okay. <laughs> what? She's a greaser.
Oh, thank God he hung up. <laughs> Bro, what the F? And he keeps calling every single day with like random most random crap he could ever imagine. It's just like, what? <laughs> Do I look like a doctor? I think it's carbon I monoxide. I, I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Yeah, I got you, bro. Please hold. Um, that was definitely carbon. Mm -hmm. I know where it is. I remember this. Uh, carbon monoxide causing dizziness, headaches, stuff like that. Um, carbon monoxide. Hmm, I haven't heard from Carol for a while, which is always a good sign, I guess. Uh, got network issues here again. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Yeah, bro, you definitely need, need help bad. It's called asylum. Um, I never heard, never seen anything about any holes. Um, what about that faith? Uh, nope. Nope. There was one thing that was collecting all of the random things around the house. The hoarder thing, maybe. Um, to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. But it's just refuse. The, hoard, the hoard's tendency to store the vast uh, quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease to the home inhabitants. Rotten food used syringes and rusty Metal are among the most common household hazards. Uh, okay. Household fires, household flies, spider, lamp, sprite, laundry gnome, memory wisp, mice, mirror nymph, portal. And a strong desire to enter. What does that mean? Just causing uh, heating issues and introducing drafts. So yeah, I don't think that's um, what the guy is talking about. Termites? Yeah, termites. Uh, small holes in a drywall or squeaky floor. I mean, come on. Uh, termites not gonna create these large holes everywhere, right? Or maybe the guy is just a, a bit of, um, you know... Termites. Don't think the termites are that big for for a dog to disappear. Carol, I don't want to hear from you. This is a very long day. What the hell? It's taking ages. What in the name of Christmas? And the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? 
something. What? Please hold. The house is already turning into a disaster, not 24 hours later. My living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Okay. Soil and plants. There was one thing, but I thought it just uh, causes issues in the garden. Wait. Soil and plants. Looks like a goddamn nursery, but wh what is it doing in the living room? Maybe it's a portal? Report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, has got to be dealt as soon as they discover they can uh, cause drafts. What did she say? Looks like a, a goddamn nursery in there. Soil and plants. Okay. Seedling? Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an elephant. They are known to be burrowing onto uh, planters and gardens, feeding off the roots and nearby weeds. Uh, never remove a weed from the seedling garden. They are known to compl completely na -na -na -na, violent acts on themselves and others. I mean, what else can it be? Pipe hop. Yep, I'll just go for the thing. Portal? Maybe? I mean, that would make sense. She didn't say anything about, I don't know, drafts and stuff. No, I'm not really not sure about this one. This shift is literally taking ages, bro. Problem, bro. Jesus, some people, bro. Yeah, I I already knew that it wasn't termites to begin with. Hello again. Yeah, I'm kind of having an emergency now, thanks to the info you sent me not being. A in the slightest. Uh -oh. This living room plant situation has only gotten worse. Now the floorboards and walls are starting to groan under the weight. There's something hiding in tall grass by the couch and I don't think it's friendly. What? Oh God. God, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Yes, yes, that thing got her. Bro, I don't need to deal with this issue anymore. <laughs> it's nice. I guess the problem resolved itself, but really, uh, what? I have no idea what that is. Does that mean I'm gonna be in trouble with Carol? There's something... There's something in my basement. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. I think it's the slug. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Okay bro, just chill. Please hold. Um... Where was it again? Hmm. 
Cellar hmm. growths. Yep, there we go. Uh, commonly report the slimy residue, the sound of dripping and stretching. Strange growths coming from the cellar. Yeah, it's definitely this one. Cellar growths. Wait, cellar grotto? What is that? Appear spontaneously in cellars, basements. Home, uh, homeowners with cellar grottos will often report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity at home, and the notable increase in the large... What? Oh, that's a tough one. Um... Uh, Smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making it all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it does mention the smell here. Uh, in Cellar Gross, it just says, Commonly report slimy residue, the sound of dripping and stretching, and strange glows coming from the cellar. Ah, okay, I'll pick Grotto this, in this instance. instance. Mm, let's see... Yes, bro. How may I assist? Oh no. Hello, employee. Supervisor. She doesn't here. sound happy. I've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here okay many of our callers lives have been altered for the hey worst bro your negligent no neighbors. your failure to treat your no here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in regards to your continued employment at hsh effective immediately your ah who needs this job bro terminated. who needs this we wish you the best in your future endeavors thank you yep Okie doke. Uh, I mean, some of these requests are really weird, and uh, in some cases, you do get multiple options uh, that are, you know, can be um, can be used like the seller thing. Yeah, I'm un unemployed right now. Um, anyway, guys, it's been fun. I'll uh, catch you in the next episode. We'll see if I can um, manage to keep my job. Then, have a good one.